All right, so it's Monday. It's uh, basically reset time for uh, Fire Emblem. Uh, I'm just going to show these last two. It's going to be two no matter what, but whether both of them are doubled um, depends on how well I do on the first one. But uh, I'm going to do these last two Aether Raids matches just to see if hopefully I can make it into tier 27. Um, I was thinking about doing something like recording uh, every Aether Raids day, every Aether Raids match uh, per day, and then just compiling it into a video, which I might eventually still do. Um, but through the week, you don't get that many interesting ones. It's always like these last two are usually the most tense that you have to go through anyway. Um, there would decide. Uh, it's easy to get to tier 25 or 26 even. Sometimes you get 26 depending on how good your defense is. Um, but yeah, basically it comes down to see if you added that defense lift back up there, I'd be in tier 26 right now. Um, but it basically comes down to you're either in tier 27 or not, really. Um, everything under tier 27 is about the same. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess this is it. This is probably going to be the, the most interesting part. Um, whether I make it in or not is wholly relying on this. And I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna do these two matches and, and get that over with. Uh, I don't... I did all my arena, the Colosseum stuff. I always should do it, um, on Tuesday at the beginning of the week, because I just don't like doing it, and I'd just rather get out of the way. Um, but yeah, so... Um, this, this, this is always, like, the most stressful part. I think I have... two escape ladders so if it's looking like this first one isn't going perfect then I might just escape and try again because uh, I really do need that 20 aether pots I basically need all s you win as you see here with this team I win 330 so that's 660 I basically need all the points so hopefully uh, we don't mess up this first one 224 let's take a look here what we're dealing with um, Lucina, Belina. This doesn't seem too bad. My my Boki is running close foil, which means she won't be able to hit her. So if I leave her sitting like here or something these will probably come hit her I mean she'll survive most of this just because the res plus seven um, let's see this is the only team I have ready I usually sometimes I prepare multiple teams uh, it's good to have her uh, she's good at killing anything that she's basically just good at killing anything um, so they'll have her and all that stuff uh, but I didn't really prepare them this season so I'm just kind of running with this uh, this is what I usually end up using anyway, like I'll build a bunch of teams and just kind of stick with this one just because it's the most convenient, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get in here. Whatever happens, happens, you know. Okay. Uh, I might do some videos later kind of talking about Aether Raids and, and, you know, like not tutorial stuff, just because I think I've said this a few times already, but I mean, if, if you want like how to win at Aether Raids, Acarus YouTube channel, AK. I'll probably put it down in the description. Um, but yeah, just check out his channel. Like, there's nothing I won't say that he doesn't... He probably won't say himself. Um, but yeah, so... And a lot of stuff I learned, I learned from him. So I'd probably just be reiterating a lot of his stuff. Um, but there are a few things that I, I feel like I could add. But yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't know if I'll do tutorials, but... Hopefully, maybe just putting up a lot of this um, gameplay. Maybe people can sort of watch my the way I play and, and what, what I kind of factor into it. It's gonna watch me uh, scrub out when I do. Okay, so what I'm thinking is putting her. I don't feel like I feel like waiting till turn two to do anything. Um, so ideally, I want her here to hit this, and then dance her here to hit her, and then hopefully kill her. Which I usually usually my uh, Loki can, especially after a dance, because uh, any debuff she'll have on will be off of her. Um, I 
don't foresee using her just because this Lucina's in the back line, so I can bait out these people, but this dancer is gonna just draw her forward and not have to deal with her anyway. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna leave her here and have her activate the uh, the debuffs, or probably here just to ensure I one shot this. Um, yeah, hopefully I need to get her in range of that special. Uh, she has smite. She'll smite her here. I can go here. Yeah, see, I'll have to do turn two because I can smite her here. She can go here and pop this. And she'll be out of range for this. So. I mean, she might survive. She, she tends to survive, like. Especially. Obviously, Sothis is, is what you run into a lot. She'll she'll tend to attack and and not really kill, not manage to get the kill on on Boki. But uh, you never want to take unnecessary damage, especially. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to get hit by her. So if I put her here and hit her here. She should be able to survive all this. She's got higher speed, higher. I mean, obviously, she's a flyer and she's very vulnerable. Um, Lilinas can be kind of scary sometimes. They just kind of come out of nowhere and hit you really hard. Uh, she's got 47 to 48. So she's going to hit me once. The only problem I have is... getting Her getting danced and hitting me twi twice. The other problem is she'll probably be moved into position... Um, from someone else. Yeah, so I think turn two and I'm going to make the move. Let's see, I'm going to put her here, dance her here, and she'll pop this. So the problem is, will sitting here cause any of these to move out of position? They don't usually, right? I mean, if you played Aether Raids, you know that if you're not on a red tile, they won't move. They just kind of sit there until you do. Um, this is again. This is showing my uh, lack of. I guess not lack. Of, well, I mean, partially lack of, of caring. Um, but there's certain conditions that are met that causes them to move when you're not on a red tile. I'm not entirely sure what. It, and it's been happening. It's not something that they added into the game because it used to happen. It's been happening since uh, Aether Raid has been a mode. Uh, sometimes they'll just start moving for some reason. I, I haven't looked into it. I don't know why. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Um, but it's, it's always something to keep in mind. It's always in the back of my mind anyway. Because I've lost a few. Uh, just because they just decided to move for some reason. Even though I wasn't on a red tile. Um, so that's, that's the only problem I have here. Uh, I might cause them to move by standing here. But, yeah, that's a gamble. Like I said, we've got two escape ladders. Uh, it's like half your escape ladders on, on the last match, so... Yeah. Fortunately, this team seems pretty easy. I think I can handle all this, so I'm just gonna um, go ahead and do that. Uh, this isn't gonna hit me because I'm not going through here. These two are gonna hit somebody, so let's find out who they're hitting. Oh, they don't, yeah, they don't hit until later. Uh, we'll, we'll see later, anyway. Uh, level two. I think I'll pop this with this. Death's caress. I think I'll pop. Let's go see what level these are. Level five, level one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave that one. Or, or leave this one, and I'm gonna pop this one. And then I'm gonna move her here. Move you here. Okay, so like I said, I don't think. Okay, so this is out of the way. But you'll see right now, this is usually the kind of position that I put her, that I put someone in, and it causes them to move. I'm, again, I'm not sure what it is. Um, I'm probably just an idiot, and it's probably something obvious. I said, I haven't cared enough to look into it. Um, okay, so this is fine. I'm gonna put her here. Let's go 
together. Let's see. So next turn, I might activate this. Really, the only person I'm worried about not killing is going to be um, Sothis, just, and she usually tend like even without this, Certainly. Sothis usually tends to would have tended to die uh, to Boki. Um, but I'm just not sure, so we'll uh, we'll leave it like that for a while, and then we'll see what happens. Hopefully, they don't start moving everywhere. Okay, there you go. See. All right, so let's take a look at the damage here. I'm getting hit by a minus seven from something. Minus two here. This is probably stuff I should have checked before I started moving around. Um, but basically, if I was going to put her here and they would have moved and I would have lost, I would have lost regardless of what they had. Um, but, you know, I didn't, so they didn't move, so that's good. I'm um, getting hit by a chill speed. That's right, because she, she's hitting me. Oh, that's right. Her speed is is, is very low. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, so she's getting hit with the tower, which is why it's all right to have left it there. This would have been hitting her because I think she does have the highest of both. Uh, this is the other concerning thing: is minus seven here. <laughs> Let's go take a look at this. Let's see, so I can usually manage to get the kill. Taking 13 plus the serious. That's an issue. Uh, she's hitting my defense stat because it's super low and it's already. Well, it's lower than res. Certainly. Aversa is running defense res link. Fun bunny. What am I? 62? Half. Her, I have Wings of Mercy on her, so half of her HP would be 31. Um, so it's looking like a fight with her isn't going to put her in. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go take a look here. I go down to 34. Interesting. Here puts me down to 28. Very interesting. So here's what I might do. Of course. I think I'm just gonna activate this, one shot her without taking any damage. Um, then use her to smite her up to tell, move her. So she's gonna be here, and I'm gonna try. No, that's not gonna work. Springtime. I need to pop this too. This is this is one of the problems with the CC Vantage team. If I <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, so if I put her here and I kill her, and I just like do you know CC Vantage stuff. If they all run into her and kill themselves on her, which they shouldn't because this dancer's here, um, but who knows? Then I'll, I'll miss this, and that's kind of crucial to get to the 20, 27. Uh, see, she has 43 attack. I have 27 defense. I will have, well, 27 plus... If I do this here, 27 plus 6 gets her up to 33. <sighs> 33 plus this is 38. So... The idea is hopefully she survives. 47 to 41. Okay, she's getting hit too. By something. Who, who's wearing? Oh, she's got the speed. Okay, I'm cool. Um, and everybody else is just getting hit by random stuff. Uh, nobody has any visible buffs. Which makes a Versa not as useful. This is why you want to have multiple teams. So a Versa is useful. Um, she, she gives everybody the minus three and the, the um, panic. Which, the minus three is great, but the fact that you're not using the panic at all is kind of, uh, what's the word, like, it's a high opportunity cost. You could be using something else. So instead of having minus three to everything, maybe uh, run 
what's it called? So minus three to everything is a total of stats by d reducing their stats by twelve. Um, but if you had something like Makaya here, you could have everybody re reduce their speed and attack by six, which is usually a better debuff. Just because if they're gonna die, they're gonna die regardless of the minus three. Like all these people, they would have died anyway with the minus without the if you had if you gave them back the, the plus three defense. Um, but the plus, the minus six attack is a lot higher, and she's losing seven here. She's got a buff from something. Okay, so she does have a buff from something. Cool. Um, but yeah, so usually you want to consider that when you're going into this. Uh, Aversa is generally very good, and, and you can probably just play forever with only her. But if you want to min max, it's, it's something to be considered. Like a minus six to attack and speed would be probably better in, in a lot of situations. Uh, like the minus three here doesn't make a difference on her. She's still going to be as tanky as she would be anyway. Um, but I'd be taking less damage from her <laughs> otherwise. And, and see, with a minus six speed, I might have been able to double her. I have 41. 37 minus three is 34. Yeah, see? So, just something to consider for the future. before this gets me into vantage range I can one shot her I probably won't one shot her of 51 25 and 51 I can double her no I can't double her there you go. so it's gonna be hard to get the kill on her she's gonna hit me she might get danced, and then she'll probably die, but that's a might. What I want to do... Yeah, I'll just do this. Okay, this will be fine, because this way I give her the bonuses. Or not, well, I reduce their stats. Give her the... the bonus of true damage. Uh, and they all are very buffed. So like her, she's minus 12, and then another, well, there's a minus 7 here. But she should die on a one-shot retaliation, which is good. So let's, go together. let's do this here. Okay. Let's see where this puts me here. So I'm one-shotting her. It really does sort of pain me. Hopefully, hopefully this dancer's not stupid enough to kill herself. She physically can't. She stops here, so... Okay, let's let's see how that goes. Also, funnily enough, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like maybe I should have let her kill her and then take, you know, whatever damage she was going to take. And then she'd be advantaged because nobody here has... So right now I'm going to get hit by somebody. The thing is, she's going to retaliate and kill him back and then she'll be advantaged for the next one. Um, but yeah, I'm probably overthinking this for no reason, but here goes. Okay, so she's dead. So big and strong. Um, I think sometimes. See, this is why her position here isn't doesn't seem very good. She's probably gonna come out here and kill herself. She's gonna future. She might future vision here and then stand here and then move here and attack. And if she doesn't die. She might get danced, but she's still out of the range of everybody else, so <sighs> this should be alright, I think. I'm going to pop this anyway, just because I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, I'm just concerned of her hitting here and like somebody being danced and moving down here and sniping these, but I think I should be fine. Basically, this is primed for next turn, so let's here goes. Okay, 12, dead. 12, dead. Zero, dead. Okay, so they didn't even do any damage, even with all the debuffs I have on me. Okay. So, this is the only problem that happened. I didn't kill... 
Lucina. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is just kill her and Lucina will kill herself on her and hopefully nobody dies back here. Oh, uh -oh. press something I shouldn't have down there. Uh, I'm supposed to have these on for this just to make it more interesting, but I forgot to do that until now. I'll have it on for the last match anyway. Um, yeah, so killing her basically puts me at uh, home free. Um, yeah, 34 plus the 5 from here gets her up to 39 that all the buffs yeah so she's at 39 defense and she's at 41 attack so even if she could double me it's, it's no big deal Maybe this way. it's looking like so this week I'll make it into tier 27 again with uh, with Boki uh, I like to stress that out as often as I can um, considering oh man I could have one shot her see if I had run maybe something else like um, a Norn this, this would have been a lot easier, right? Because you would have probably one-shot her with Norn. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so there we go. So I have 100 points again, 100 Aether. Um, it means I can attack again for another 330, possibly. Uh, well, let's go check. Uh, I think I might have lost a few overnight. I checked yesterday, and I was like, oh, this is how much I need. But let's, let's take a look here. I am at 390-something. 330. Gets me to 3... What? So let's pretend this is 100. Plus 300 is 400. So I really do need to get this 330. Uh, add 30 to this. Gets you... 13... Uh, 120, like, 124, I guess, with 30, yeah. 30 is 124, plus 300 is 144. So I think I... Not 144, uh, it's 424. Uh, what that means for me is I think... Hold on. Is I think I can lose one unit maximum... Um, you don't really want to play like that, of course, but it's something to consider. Um, but yeah, I have two escape ladders, so I just have to get Flawless uh, on the next one. I don't have to worry about Aether, because I can't attack with 20 points anyway. Um, so yeah, it's looking like I'll, I'll be in tier 27. Um, let's go, uh, let's get to it then. Uh, something I want to point out here, let's take a look at my defense. Uh, so I lost here, I lost here, I got two successes here, or two, I killed two people so it's less lift. So overall I had a pretty bad um, season. Um, it's, it's, I think I, I, might have, I might make a video on it later, specifically talking about my defense, talking about problems, uh, patches, and, and, and how to improve it and all that stuff. Um, but suffice it to say that <laughs> my curtain defenses aren't as good as it could be. Um, there's problems with it right now. Um, which only time I need time to solve. Um, there's there's certain upgrades I've had since that team. They're locked in, so I haven't changed them. Um, but uh, yeah, I have to unlock it, re-bless everybody, and then set up the team again. Um, it should be a lot stronger. Uh, it's not gonna be perfect because no team is perfect. But um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I guess here it is. Uh, may as well stop stalling and uh, get on with it. So uh, again, I have two escape ladders. Lysithia is already giving me. Um, problems to like just thinking about it so let's just uh check out what's going on here okay so this seems like the kind of team that's really no amount of tanking will help you deal with <sighs> okay let's see what's this plus three Ramimon, Ramimon at a plus one is already just threatening as it is. Okay, so this team is just full on damage.
Moonbow, Hades. So the turn's gonna start. Uh, times pulse means she's ready. So this is all sort of gonna be barreling down on her. So there's no way she can tank this. Eight plus six, 14. Plus four is 18. Plus another six is 24, right? Yeah, 24. So that's 24 without even factoring in her attack stat. With the attack stat is 79. Without mentioning, I don't have res boosts, and my res is reduced by 3. So ideally, I feel like the play here, right, is to just leave. <laughs> um... But yeah, in seriousness, what you'd want to do is, like, push her here, hit her, kill her, because she doesn't get her boosts because it's not, she's, she's just sitting here, it's not uh, her turn. Um, so hope probably kill her, um, then like, put your dancer here and then dance you and then kill this one, because he's also going to be a huge pain. And that's that's you sorted for a you know a four v one. The problem is you got this pretty well laid out because Bramimond has this covered. So if I do that, Bramimond's just going to kill me because he has very he's basically the same thing. Um, if my attack is fifty or over, which it's not, which is, well, it is fifty. Um, or if a penalty is active, which you know there's going to be a penalty active is like this here somewhere. Uh, he gains plus five to the stats that matter. And he gets a free double, which is ridiculous. This isn't even on... Wow, this is ridiculous. This isn't even on, like, initiation or anything. It's just... Yeah, it's just straight up... He gets them for free. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, again, no initiation, as long as they're in combat. And he's got... I didn't realize that. Does he come with that, or did he put that on there? I feel like he put that on there. That's crazy. Um, but obviously, he doesn't like. He doesn't want to get his Bramimon sniped out. Uh, Lol attack res, of course, the the most important. Basically, gives you a six point swing because it gives you three attack and then reduces their reduction of your attack by three. So, uh, don't have anything affecting here. And he's got the, so he, he really wanted a, a mixed bulk. So 7 plus the 2 here, here is 9. 30 and 35 isn't too bad. Uh, just looking at this, I really feel like leaving. Just because I don't think I can compete with this. Uh, there aren't any visible buffs, so again, a versus coming at an opportunity cost. Not even mentioning if I put any buffs on her. I'm in range of this, but it's not leveled up which is kind of weird uh, this is gonna be this is as irritating as it always is so this is a pretty good team um, very low investment like even at like, like this you'll get copies of her over time uh, you know I have a, I have one I don't have a plus one or anything I have one um, but he can get you, know, you can get copies of him here and there uh, Versa I think most people pulled for Versa when she came out and all you need is one again so yeah, for those of you who have maybe some of these units lying around, it's a pretty decent team. Um, maybe like a Gale Force team? No. Yeah. There's too much overlapping heavy damage is the problem. Maybe Kronia, if I had Kronia. I don't have a built Kronia, I think I showed it in my showcase. Uh, she's just missing, well, she's just missing. She's missing Special Spiral and Close Counter. But she'd have a decent time here, because you leave her here, she'd hit her, splash these two for 14 damage, stand here, hit him, splash these two for another 14 damage, splash, well, let's see, these two for 14 damage, and him, not him. Then, 
Uh, everybody here is CC uh, vantageable, except for him because he's got hardy bearing. <laughs> I'm not sure if she'd be able to. She probably yeah, she could take a hit from this because she hopefully I don't think she'll be able to double. He'll be able to double her. So she could take a hit. So yeah, Crony would be pretty good here, I think. Um, but I have, yeah, like I said, I have Boki. So this is going to be very hard, if possible, at all. I'm thinking about this side just because these two are pretty, pretty serious threats. Um, the fact that he's he has Hardy Bearing isn't too useful. I personally would have gone with Hardy Bearing on him, um, just to avoid what I had just said with the. Um, Cronio situation, um, but the fact that he's got such high, uh, well, not it's not super high, but he's got 30 defense, um, kind of patches that up a little bit, but yeah. So these are going to be like this. This is why I didn't want to put a bunch of them together, just because it'd be a long time. I mean, well, this is how Aether Raid kind of goes. Uh, it takes a while to get to get to this. This isn't just like a go in there and not like Epic Seven. You just go in there and cleave everything and then leave. It's just you know it's why I like this game, I guess. Um, but yeah, something to consider. Um, so I, th I think I might just leave. Is the problem here? <laughs> These two people can hit there, hit here. What I'm thinking about doing is leaving. Loki here, and I'm just gonna go in there and, and do this. Surrendering still takes the thing. I might as well give it a shot, right? Um, okay, you're here. Okay, you don't have anything. You have this. You don't have anything either. And you have that. Okay. So I was thinking about maybe like balling up some stats here, but I don't have anything that can. that'll be able to deal with. Uh, this. Not to mention she has Moonbow Charge, which is just going to hit me directly. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, let's see. if I go through this side, I can like smite her here. This might be a. Tr this will probably be a. This could be a lightning trap. I don't know why you put it here. But I think it's here. If I smite her here, this will be a lightning trap, which hopefully takes her down to some amount. I want to kill her. Yeah, because if I kill her, then Wings of Mercy dance her, then I'll be able to like move here and maybe kill him. But then I'm hit by her. This is 30, 47, 38, 6, 27 rise. <laughs> See, this is a very good setup because even with a 47 res, I mean, she might be able to tank this, I don't know, I have no idea. 47 plus the 7 from this is, um, what, 54? She's got 54 res. Take a look. Yeah, there you go. 54 res plus like the 7 from here. The 4 from here, that's 11. Plus this. It's a lot of res, right? But it's all pointless because he's just going to come in here and hit her and she's going to die. Not only that, but he's going to double her. Let's go together. Back to swapping spaces. Okay. okay. Here, I think here's the play. I'm going to use move her here, pop this, move her here. Put her here, dance her forward here. I'm just gonna hit him. Activate this. T 
to debuff these two and then give you the um, true damage or whatever the I don't know what it's called dominance thing whatever okay so we'll give her dominance and reduce their stats I guess the question is well I think I should probably put her I think I'm gonna put her yeah I'm gonna attack him first hope I don't think I'll kill him so he'll be put into or she'll be put into advantage range Hopefully she doesn't. Hopefully he doesn't do too much damage. Okay, so I think that's the play. Put her, put her in vantage range. After I hit him, vantage these two. Hopefully survive her, and him. Maybe bait her. I don't know. Uh, sometimes they're tricky. Sometimes they just kill themselves on her. I don't know why. Um, even though they, they really shouldn't. Um, but yeah, so let's let's try that. That's probably the best hope I have. Um, like, if I'm honest. Yeah, so I'm gonna move her here, activate that, triggered on these three, these four. I think I can survive her, <laughs> especially if we, if she gets any buffs, they're gonna turn into debuffs, so she'll be like super debuffed. Don't know who she's getting buffs from. Is it her? Oh yeah. Okay, so that that makes this a little easier. Everybody's getting debuffed by six because I have a Versa. Um, but yeah, so move her here. Hit this. Probably smite her here. Hit that. <laughs> yeah, this is tricky. Um. The que so the question here is, should I smite her or dance her? I think I'm going to dance her. So here, also here, you probably want like a defense attack link rather than defense res link. I mean, I, yeah, well, I had her on this before I got, before she came out. So I'm going to switch this to an attack defense link. Uh, that way she gets plus six attack defense and res or plus seven res. And that should be good. Uh, obviously now I just gotta figure out a way to give her plus seven speed or six speed or some shit. Oh, but yeah, that'll come later. Uh, maybe if I get like a hone, what is this? A hone, a, hone, a fortify res. If I get like a fortify speed four, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's sort of hypothetical. Um, but yeah, in this case, you you know, if you're playing this and, and you want something like that, I'd probably I, I would probably go with attack res. Even if you didn't have her, um, it's still probably a good idea to have the attack boost there. Um, but yeah, okay, so uh, yeah, let's, let's stop stalling here and get this over with, because I can either, I can just leave, again, I have the escape ladder, I can just leave, maybe probably have an easier time beating someone else, but the competitive nature of me kind of wants me, wants to, wants to show this guy that I can take on this team. Okay, let's hit this. So, using her, let's go take a look at how many debuffs they have. See, like, minus three. Let's just take a look at you. Oh, minus three. Seven. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I don't understand. Oh, man. If I lose to this guy, it's going to be so sad. So, who are you buffing? Are you buffing him? He should be getting buffed. Oh, it's not their turn yet. But I mean, this this doesn't make any sense because this won't hit like these four. That's weird. Okay. Spring time. Uh, the only problem is if I drop below forty-five. Of course. Yeah, like I said, we'll just do it. Okay. So let's take a look at this. I dropped to forty-seven. I'm still in vantage range, but I'm above this bolt tower, or not this bolt tower, this um, panic manor, which is good. That's what you want. Um, so I think if I'm going to have a shot at this, this is going to be the best shot I have, so I, I'm just going to take it. Yeah. The only problem, the other problem is, does Bramimon shut this down? He might. 
Um, but it doesn't really matter. I think I'll just kill him anyway. Okay, well, there you go. So like I said, either this works or it doesn't. There's no two but two ways about it. So let's just do it. Um, let's hit him. Six. See, this is why you kind of want um, like a non-flyer, because the flyer will give you a bonus here from something that you can decide on. Um, let's do this. The bonus will give you something here, rather than having to run IO shield, um, which basically would have secured that kill, right? I would have, I might have one-shot him, you know. Uh, but yeah, so that's why you kind of want something like that, especially like Boki has 50 attack base. That's about it, right? If you had uh, Norn at a plus 10, it's 54. So just without even considering what I mentioned here with this, Noki would have, uh, Noki, uh, Norn would have taken that kill. So, you know, something to consider for all you, I mean. Yeah, uh, let's see. All right, here goes. Let's just see if uh, I can survive this onslaught here. So she's charged, but I'm gonna hit her for 69. Oh, what? Very interesting. Does she have hardy bearing on something? I guess she had hardy bearing on something. Or, oh, was I not in CC range? CC vantage range, that's horrible. Okay, so. It, for some reason, that dancer attacked me. Uh, uh, Azura attacked me. Well, there you go. This turned out a lot better than I thought it would have. Um, yeah, so I guess I win. Uh, Lazara shouldn't have been here. Or she shouldn't have been baited. I don't know why she attacked. Uh, he should have like a rally. So he would rally like Azura, and then Azura would um, tell him to move or something. I don't know. Something that should have that shouldn't have gone that way. Um, I really should have been hit by that uh, Alm. And I forty-seven out of what? Of course. Sixty-two. What's my vantage range? Vantage is seventy-five percent. This divided by f sixty divided by four is what fifty or twenty divided by. 4 is 5. It's 20 times 3, so it's 15. 60 divided by 4 is... so 15. So minus 15 from uh, this is... 10 is 52. It's 47. So 47 wasn't enough, because it's more than 15. 15 would be if I had 60. Damn, I was like one or two health points over, which is kind of dumb, but... Fortunately, she uh, she stuck it out, and yeah, so yes. I'm proud of her. Uh, let's see. Let's so my issue now, I can kill Sothis, of course, but can I kill him in one shot? Certainly. Well, let's find out. I'm right here. That's a lot of res. 69, of course. Good morning. Okay, so even if she can't kill him, this is good because I can just move her here, put her here, reposition her out of the way, and I'm safe and I can figure something else later. Funny, funny. I'm just gonna... I really wanna pop these just for the sake of popping them, just to style on them. But I shouldn't, because <laughs> it'll get me killed. Here. There you go, 63. That's the biggest weakness with him, is you really need to like plus 10 him. Not for like attack stats, because this combined with this gets him as much attack as you'd ever want. It's more survivability. I mean, look at this res. It's pitiful, 41 HP. And he's not properly blessed. So this team, yeah, if I would have lost to this team, it would have been pretty sad. To me, anyway. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad to have lost, just because of how much damage they had out there. Um, and I wouldn't have won if it weren't for... Together. This nonsense here. This this is ridiculous. And I might consider carrying her over. She'll probably I'll, I'll probably have her on a team. 
Um, so maybe instead of having a Versa, I'll have Micaiah. It'll be these four. One, two, three, four. And then the, the bonus unit, but yeah. So. Nervous here. Be safe. Look at that. One shot. 63. <laughs> and just like that, tier 27 is mine. By 24 points. I don't know how much... I forget how much you lose. I think you get 290. I remember dropping a character and I think I went down to 290 on one match I can't remember the points just because I usually just whatever um I, but I don't think yeah I don't think I would have reached it with 290 yeah I would have dropped 40 from here so it would have been out so there you go that'd be perfect and so it was uh check rewards yep tier 27 there you go uh rank I think, now, when it comes to tier 27, what separates uh, ranks uh, at the top, what puts you from 1 to 1,000, because I, I usually, this is what I usually get, I usually get, um, no, I'm usually down here, but that's before I, I changed my defense team. Uh, there was a few upgrades that I've had, which have sort of, I think, should secure me here, so I'll, I'm sort of, I should be mightily in here. Oh, no, no, I get pushed out usually. Um, by the end of today so yeah I usually hang out in here um, what separates being from here which is tier 27 is usually this is what you are so if you make it to tier 27 you're here uh, a lot of times what separates here from here and here from here is gonna be your um, your defense because um, losing 162 lift is it's nothing to sneeze at but like I said I think I have Mirabilis on for Anima, um, I'm waiting. F I can change things. I have uh, a bunch of upgrades to make. Like on a basic level, she's running close foil, which you don't want on your like on this team. And I'll have a plus three Camilla, and she's missing a lot of upgrades. She doesn't have flyer formation, so there's just a lot of things missing here. Um. So just with a few changes that I have now, I can make this team a little bit better. But I don't want to waste the blessings and I don't want to waste a lot of the resources to put that into position until uh, until the next legendary mythic banner comes back. Whatever, I don't know. I don't remember when it's going to be. Um, but I'm waiting for that because I hear Mirabilis or... Mirabilis and Sothis are going to be on there. I think Phoenix Master 1 or somebody said something like that. I think uh, Tacho, if any of you subscribe to him, mentioned something like that, that they're probably going to be together on that banner. If that's the case, I'm going to spend a bunch of orbs on that banner to get more Mirabilis um, dupes and in the process probably get a bunch of Sothis dupes, um, which should make uh, this defense a little bit better. Uh, not drastically, Sothis, uh, there's not really a whole lot you can do uh, with Sothis, but you know, she's kind of here. Uh, also, so I think I'm gonna switch it to this uh, mainly because she has she has it on her. I don't have it equipped here when I when I built this team. It's not what I had on, but she has ground orders, right? Uh, yeah, ground orders with uh, with flyer formation here and ground orders here or here. I can basically keep her mobility, keep this active, and make her a flyer. So she should be able to hit the same targets. So if I go here and hit someone here, she can stand here and hit them there. Um, so basically, it, it's 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 good to keep her with the ball, even even if she doesn't have uh, like a, a ward or a goad. And again, so I have like this isn't she's not built for this. I just kind of put it in there and locked it in at the time. This was a while ago. Um, but yeah, so there's a few things I can do to change this that'll make it just uh, infinitely better. Um, will I? Will it boost me 
up in the rankings a lot, maybe. Uh, I think I'll be able to stay. I'll, I'll, I think I'll be able to get the first red chair because I don't think I have a red chair here. Yeah, I don't think I have one red chair. Yeah, so I think I'll get the first red chair. Let's go see, let's go see. Yeah. Really, the, the red, and, and really the red chair is the... Let me build, maybe it's down here. I haven't built it yet. Yeah, really the red chair is the one that really matters to me. Um, being in 227, like I said, I've been in 227 quite a bit, but I don't have a chair. Um, so with, with one red chair, I think I'll be you know satisfied to a, to a pretty large degree. Um, yeah. So for, fortunately, uh, next season, I won't have to run the stupid bolt tower, which I don't like running it on my uh, defense team. Um, and I'm already running this, so it gives me space to do whatever I want. Uh, so yeah, so that, that's that. Um, hopefully uh, it wasn't too boring. Um, that's me in tier 27. I, I don't think I'll drop. Let's go take a look at my defenses, see if anybody... So I got hit two hours ago. If I get hit again, lift loss control should cover it. So yeah, I've lost all the lifts I'm going to lose, I think, and I should be in tier 27. There you go. Uh, so hopefully somebody learned something from this. Um, I, I doubt it though, but yeah. Probably make more uh, Fire Emblem videos later, probably discussing the Aether Raids team and all that stuff. Um, but so this is, the, this is the main reason why I didn't like decide to do it every day and then chop them and smush them all together, because every day it's basically like half an hour. Per one. This one, what, what is it? Oh man, it's like an hour long. Just because I had two, it's a lot of discussion to have. Um, in the future, I probably won't talk as much, um, just because I've already said a lot of things here, so I won't have to repeat them later. Um, and it should be shorter, but yeah, so usually Aether Rage takes this, uh, a decent amount of time anyway. Um, so yeah, I think I might just stick with this. Uh, I don't know. If you see more Aether Raid stuff, then obviously you'll, you'll know. Uh, but yeah, so yep.